The next time somebody calls you an Uncle Tom, you say thank you. Because that person is clearly ignorant and a lot of black people, a lot of the a lot of the Negroes out here don't like facts. They don't like numbers. They don't like education. And a lot of times that is the reason why they're in their own predicament. And we need to turn the volume up on this channel. And this needs to be said. Shout out to this influencer. Uh, I believe his name is Cameron. And I want to touch on you know, a very important topic that he actually brought up at the beginning of his video. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback. You know, some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And then some people thought that what I was saying was kind of a, a, a little yeah. uncle ruckus here. Some people were even saying that I wasn't the best spokesperson for this because I speak proper and I sound white. Even though, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure last time I checked, I'm black. I don't know, y'all tell me. I guess I gotta sound black as well. I don't know how a black person is supposed to sound, but y'all tell me in the comment section below. Overall, there was a lot of mixed feedback with that video. Now, shout out to you, because at the end of the day, a lot of these uh, ignorant Negroes out here, they don't understand that that phrase, Uncle Tom, actually comes from a book that was written by uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe. One of her number one novels that she wrote, it was called Uncle Tom's Cabin. There was two people in that book that were pretty much the main characters. You had Uncle Tom, who was stoic. Uh, he had beliefs. He gave his life for the slaves. He tried to warn them. If you really want to insult somebody, you ignorant, uh, hoping they give out more stimulus Negroes out there, you want to call them a Sambo. Let's take a look at the Sambos of social media and the Uncle Toms. I get called Uncle Tom from time to time by people in the comment section, Uncle Ruckus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have you ever noticed Uncle Tom is never in prison? Uncle Tom is usually the guy that lives in a nice neighborhood. He has a really good career. Uh, he's usually the black man coming to bail out the ignorant Negroes or represent them uh, pro bono because they don't have anything of value to add to society. So he usually comes there in a suit, dressed nice, and he feels sorry for the ignorant Negroes who've been locked up or they might be innocent most of the time. Let's be honest, they're not. And what happens is he gets called an Uncle Tom because he talks proper. You know, he 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 obeys the he obeys the land laws and stuff like that. And then you have another group of Negroes out here that are your profit pimps, your crypto pastors, your real estate convicts. What happened was they realized that they could actually rob you more with the pen instead of the sword. OK, now a great person actually said that. I believe that was Bo Diddley. Bo Diddley said you can get ripped off more than a man with a pen with a pen than a man with a sword. Now, who's more likely going to be the Sambo? The Sambo is the person that worked for the master. He was pretty much the overseer. He was a black man, uh, uneducated was actually whipping the slave for Massa when Massa said, I feel sick today. Yes, sir, I feel sick too, sir. Um, uh, he was the type of guy that, you know, he was the Massa's right-hand man. What happened to a lot of your influencers out here? A lot of your influencers, they became the new Sambo, meaning whatever Massa wanted them to advertise to you, they did it. Uncle Tom, like myself, that I get called, I get approached all the time in the emails wanting me to pump nonsense to you, and I don't. I don't take none of this profit uh, pumping uh, to uh, any of my influencers because I don't believe in it, I don't use it, and I know that I'm not going to be a puppet for a lot of these CEOs. You got a lot of convicts up here that realize they don't have to take your money no more with a weapon. They can literally get up here and start lying to you and selling you the dream of financial freedom and generational wealth. You got a lot of uh, pastors that come through the community, but they realize they can do it here from afar on YouTube and they can just sell you the dream and they can drive nice cars as you keep putting your money in the till and then the preacher usually leaves through the back door in a Bentley, a Mercedes. You know, he's usually fornicating with all his followers and stuff like that. So when you get a lot of people up here that are constantly telling you to invest in yourself, invest in yourself, purchase this, purchase that, purchase this. The, the, the true meaning of investing in yourself is you going to, I'm going to give you an example. You go to the local hardware store in your neighborhood. You purchase a leaf blower, a lawnmower, and you throw it into the back of your car. 
You start going door to door in affluent neighborhoods. Let's keep it 100. Affluent neighborhoods, they care about their landscaping. You go up to them and you say, listen, I have a business that I'm starting. I don't know how much you're paying for landscaping. Uh, just give me some time. I'm not the best at it, but I will give you a better deal. Here's my card. Here's my number. Give it to your friends. That is investing in yourself because you're putting money out, hoping to get a return back. Is it risky? Yes. But at the end of the day, that's how business are created. A business is not created investing in yourself by becoming a hair braider or selling Jordans because let's be honest, how many white Indians, Asians, Jews get their hair braided? No. Investing in yourself is actually going uh, with an Uber or delivering pizzas in a nice neighborhood, investing yourself saying, all this money that I get, I'm 100% going to pay off my debt because that is a 100% return. And then I'm going to keep doing this hustle. And then I'm going to build my business, my brand, invest this, buy real estate. That is investing in yourself by getting your hands dirty, not sitting in your dirty, dusty pajamas and Crocs all day, eating Cheez-Its and Gino's pizza rolls, doing someone's plays, doing crowdfunding, doing, let's see, I'm going to have Tisha and Nene come over at two o'clock so I can braid their hair. That's not investing in yourself. That is the ghetto mentality of trying to get ahead. And, and, and when we keep making these videos and we keep trying to tell you that you are destroying your own community by wanting handouts, wanting stimulus, wanting reparations, the government will always control you. Some of us didn't get stimulus. Why didn't, why didn't some of us get stimulus? Here's why. We made over a certain amount. Who most likely got stimulus? Let's see. Black folks. Black folks, I've already put up the facts. I know ignorant black folks don't like facts. Make the least amount of money in this country. Fall below the poverty line. Fall below that criteria of the stimulus money. So most likely, I'm going to say 95% of black folks got stimulus. And a lot of black folks will vote for whoever is going to give them something. They don't care about the long-term effects for it. They just want something for free. So what? What happened was they gave you the free money you went out bought liabilities it flowed to the top of all the other cultures that own those businesses and now you're actually in a worse situation than you were back then because now you have auto loan debt you have all type of credit card debt you're sitting back waiting for more money you're hoping interest rates come down it doesn't affect us either way because we really don't care who's in office, what the interest rates are, what what the hell the debt rate. We we don't give a damn. And the and the reason why this video needed to be made is because when you get in comment sections and you call somebody Uncle Tom or you call somebody Uncle Ruckus, you're all over the place. You really are showing the person that you're insulting that you are ignorant and you're an idiot because you ran with the whole Uncle Tom theory, but not even realizing Uncle Tom has been up here the whole time trying to help you, trying to guide you, and try to free you. So the next time you see somebody up here smiling in your face and they got what you need for $9.99 or, or, or $24.99 or, or $59.99, Who's the real Uncle Tom? Sambo, who's up here working for that person because the person who he's peddling most likely is a white person or an Asian or an Indian. So who's the real Uncle Tom and who's the real Sambo? And if you're following me, you're already enlightened. You already know what time it is. If you're following them, good luck to you. But we already know who is already winning and we know who's losing. Uncle Tom will be there to bail you out when you when when you steal someone's Hellcat. Uncle Tom is going to be there shaking his head in your family, trying to warn you, trying to help you. And the Sambo is going to be in the passenger seat. Blah, 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 blah. Put a, you know what I'm saying? Put a smiley face in the chat if you know where I'm at. Blah, 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 blah. That's Sambo. Hope you made it this far. Think about subscribing. No regrets. Get it.